focus on hydroponics and second one on the cabana. And ho hopefully this will continue with one every month. I do hope that you and your families are staying safe and healthy in this current unprecedented scenario. This for our series had to be paused uh, due, due to the pandemic. However, recalling the saying that the show must go on, we have resumed these sessions. The next one, next uh, next month, will be on bonsai. We also know that hard concrete roofs cause excessive heat gain, impacting thermal comfort in buildings. Terrace gardens with greenery at higher levels of built structures are seen as one of the key mitigating strategies for improving the microclimate. Nurturing these terrace gardens and fruits and and with fruits and vegetables will not only help in mitigating the issues, but also Nurturing these uh, terrace gardens with fruits and vegetables will not only help in mitigating the above said issues, but also help in enhancing the health and well being of the people. Amidst this pandemic, to various social media platforms, we have come to know that people have developed interest in this hobby of kitchen garden gardening, which is aesthetically pleasing and also provides healthy food. Today, we are introducing you to an expert in terrace farming who would add knowledge to your existing practices and help you all in getting better yields and to practice a healthy lifestyle. My special word of welcome to the district speaker of the day, Dr. Ravi Chandra Kumar. He's a former SBI employee and is an inventor of terrace farming through drip and drain system. He is very actively involved in experimenting in various methods of organic farming and creating awareness amongst various stakeholders. So I would like to mention that for us, lecture series is a platform created with an objective to reach out to various landscape techniques and technologies. I would also like to welcome my colleague, Mr. C. Shekhar Reddy, chairman of the IGPC Hyderabad chapter for joining this panel. Before, I conclude, I would like to reiterate that CIA, IGBC, and the Agri Horticulture Society of Hyderabad will always strive to offer the best to Indian industry and gardeners and work closely with all the stakeholders in facilitating a greener India. This, we hope, will definitely go a long way in preserving greenery for our future generations. Thank you. Be safe. Uh, thank you, Mr. Ipur. Uh, thank you for your uh, address and uh, welcoming the audience. Uh, so the audience, we have about one or three participants who are there now, and uh, they are continuously joining us. We are very happy to see the numbers increasing. And uh, I would request Dr. Ravi Chandra Kumar B to kindly uh, conduct the demonstration, please. Over to you, Mr. Ravi Chandra uh, Kumar. Uh, I know, let me introduce to you, Dr. Ravi Chandra Kumar. Give me one yeah. minute. Sure, sure. Yes, sir. Dr. Ravi Chandra Kumar is a former employee of SBI. With his passion towards organic farming practices, he pursued his career in developing various techniques of terrace farming and has established about 500 rooftop gardens in various cities in Telangana and Andhra Pradesh as demonstration gardens. His practice was not only to be organic, but also to reuse waste plastic material as containers. His invention in rooftop gardens include bucket systems, drip drain, with fish culture, and 1,000 liters water tanks, yeah. and vertical drums of 220 liters, and tower gardens with 60 pockets in one container garden drum system, 10 liters and 20 liter curd, curd bottles, etc., etc. He is extremely creative. He has received many state and national awards towards his work in terrace gardening. His works have also been telecasted on various Telugu channels and covered in local newspapers. Thank you for coming. Over to you, Ravi Chandra Garu. Sir, uh, sir, kindly unmute yourself, sir. Namaskar, Mandi. Yes, sir. Over to you, sir. Meru mana chairman gar tipkarlu. Ento gopaga over in charu. Me andar ke koda eko chala mande people telugu lo entar gabat orla ko telu. Sorry to interrupt you, sir. 
sorry to interrupt you we have participants across india sir maybe you can conduct the session in english hello hello yes sir hello. please go ahead sir go ahead sir uh, good evening everyone i am b ravichandra kumar uh, i invented this system last 10 years before uh actually i am bank employee for i volunteer after the invention of this system i volunteer retired and i uh, established this uh, model demo plants around the country delhi to kanyakumari around 700 uh, units especially thanks for our uh, uh, agriculture um, uh, chairman sir and uh, agriculture commissioners the Mr. Ram Reddy, sir, are uh, very encouraging me on this uh, establishing of units. So many uh, 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 terrace gardens I saw before that. But uh, in that system, the rooftop is uh, unsafe. the system will not uh, uh, work for the rooftop on old old system i invented this system drip and drain system is for the um, uh, rooftop uh, garden and with fish, fish culture actually in this uh, system first we look about the how to prepare the pot i choose the pot in plastic curd buckets reused curd buckets how it is uh, preparing just now look at that This 10-liter container is a plastic container. This is 10-liter container. Just uh, hold it on the bottom. Three by four. like this after this input one bromate this is plastic one rubber one this is rubber bromate is this insert in this part. hole like this after this grommet insertion take one 3 inch cpvc pipe and elbow and one more to each cpvc pipe insert okay. like this After that, put 
it element like this in my system the bucket and drain system will like this we will make it like this after that we will arrange that bucket like this one four inches uh, height uh, stool is there like hello 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 is it audible yes sir yes sir go ahead sir you are audible to us yes yes after that uh, we will prepare the potting mix this is uh, powder this vermi compost this cocoa pit and one more is there this is neem cake we will prepare the potting mix like this 30% Thirty percent cow dung. Yes, sir. Thirty percent top of it. and 30% vermi compost and another one is 10% neem cake mix it well this is four ingredients mix it well mix it thoroughly properly and then pour into the pot and mix into the bucket Okay. 
ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಸಿಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಪಾಟಿಂಗ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಾ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಹಲೋ ಎಸ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಗೋ ಅಹೆಡ್ ಓಕೆ ದೆನ್ ದೀಸ್ ಬಕೆಟ್ಸ್ ಪುಟಾನೆ ರೋ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ like this the bucket stands on a little four inch stool this uh, drainage pipe is like this and it attached to the current of its pvc drainage pipe this pipe will uh, outlet to the water then now how to prepare the drain pipe how we arrange in the row oh. i will tell you hello sir we are able to hear you please continue the demonstration sir okay. yes yes now the voice is so clear please continue okay okay and now i am out i tell you how to uh, install the drain pipe one and a half inch drain pipe this is the one and a half inch pvc pipe this is the one and a half inch pvc pipe and this pipe we drilled here one end cap is there we drilled one and one, one three by four hole is on this right each bucket to bucket hole to hole distance is 24 inches like this uh, we arrange the pipe hole length of the building like this uh, 24 inches after this 24 inches after this like this uh, we will arrange the uh, this pipe like like this okay is the one of this pipe goes row to row a gap is 4 feet here is a one row is i'm looking the same one row this another row is after 4 feet bucket to bucket gap is 2 feet row to row gap is 4 feet we arrange this pipe pipe so one and a half inch pipes are like this this pipe we will arrange on gravity base one side is like this fall uh, um cement bricks 
are put it down for the gravity like this bricks in the row it is for the gravity purpose the excess water are coming to this drain uh, pipe through the, the, the this pipe will connect to the all bottom line pipe like this this pipe gone through the under the building and goes down in this water and it is go through the one and a half pipe is going under the building and then filters are there like this foam filter activated carbon filter and bio media filters are there this water gone through the filters and then that water goes out to the separate tank that water will recycle to the fish tank this is the fish tank 1 cubic meter fish tank the drainage water will come to this uh, fish tank after filtration this water goes to the goes to drip with the bucket system like this this is the 16 mm mm lateral pipe it is bucket to the 6 mm lateral pipe this goes to the bucket this is inlet water this is the dripper we will arrange like this drip system i will tell you how it is working this is fully automatic system uh, the drip is on now it is fully automatic the timers are there morning one time evening one time uh, drip will go automatically 30 minutes morning 30 minutes evening then automatically cut off the second one is the recycled one this uh, water in the fish tank water recycled one hour morning and one hour evening third one is oxygen uh, generating water for the fish now that how we prepare the drip connection now i please here the next this black one is the drip pipe Now drip is going. Like this. This excess water goes to the this uh, PVC pipe and then goes to one and a half inch PVC pipe. So that water, that drained water will go to the filters after then storage tank. Then it will recycle to the fish tank. In this dip and drain system, this is uh, this garden is 400 square feet area established. Per month, uh, water is required for this garden like 
only 750 liters only. We will, there is no need to give additional fertilizer and pesticides to, to this garden. Why? Because the fish water is the nutrition water. It goes to the plant and the plants will grow healthy. It gives fruits 365 days. You all people all know, many you people are uh, growing gardens on your terrace uh, in various systems. But this dependent drain system is water conservation. And it, uh, <coughs> it, it uses only little, very low water for a uh, month, 750 liters only. You see the Kikuda. How oh, is flowering? Sir, and please repeat the water requirements, sir, for the area, whatever you have. Yeah, this is a 200 square foot terrace area. It is a it's the water requirement per month is only 750 liters, 750 liters. If you, the if there is if the, the, uh, suppose we are pouring uh, uh, water by mug every day two times, then this area requires water 10,000 liters per month. Whereas in this uh, drip and dry system, only 750 liters enough. You see, this is this this is only summer crop. Uh, you all people are seeing this crop is only summer crop. Still, it's giving fruits. First of all, we are the model of the terrace garden will like this. The parapet pole, the creepers will grow on, on the parapet wall side only. Hello, um, Bira, Kakra, Swara, like this. Any? Okay. This is a card bucket, 10 liter and 25 liter card buckets are there. Then in the, uh, around the parapet wall, we arranged 250 liters of drums, half cutted horizontal drums like this. Around the parapet wall, we arranged this 250 liters uh, drums like this. It, uh, horizontally cut and arranged like this. In this, uh, in this container, the water will pour like this, uh, sprinklers, small sprinklers. And half drums arranged like this for the fruit plants. This is propagated. This is a supporter.
for the fruit bats this is a half cut a drum and then i prepared for the balkali people vertical tower garden these are the tower garden for the balcony those who are not having enough place this is only existing in 2 by 2 feet only this tower guard garden will give 365 leafy veggies it is having seven rows like this and the middle one is the compost making pipe actually the debris which are collected are the, in the garden or over on the middle of the pipe then it will convert into the vermi compost that comes is are there in in each row there is a eight packets like this and under one iron strong iron stand is there underneath this cap is there at the the cap will open the vermi compost will come out after 60 days this tower will give 365 days leafy vegetables for the uh, those who have balconies for the people this is excellent for the children and older people the, uh, the growth is very excellent growth comes in in this tower there all and then like this small uh three liters container so will uh, arrange like this okay sir what are the plants in these uh, tower drums you have put sir leafy vegetables sir coriander palak menthi like this uh, only leafy for the for the towers only for the leafy vegetables it, uh, Can leafy you please explain how you have prepared these tower uh, pots whatever you have mentioned now ah uh, this is a uh, litus drum uh, uh, to prepare this uh, drum some tools are there i will show you the tools what tools to prepare to One minute. Can you see this? These are the tools for the prepare the tower garden. One drilling mission, one heating mission, and one cutter, zig cutter. 
these are the power tools so first of all how to i will i explain to how to prepare this uh, drum you first measure 4 inches 4 inches a uh, cutted area 3 inches gap around the drum like that seven rows mark it and then cut it with a jigsaw this is a jigsaw this area four and a half inch cut with this tool after the cutting then use this heater and uh, heat like this area then the gap will appear in the in between the gap we will manage like this brick as a to hold like this for the gap then after one hour, it will appear like this pocket. Around this pocket, one in each and one row, there is eight pockets. The rows are seven rows. We will put it in seven uh, type of very leafy vegetables for whole week to eat that uh, beautiful leafy with this. This is this uh, area only two by two feet. It uh, occupies the area is two by two feet. We will arrange like this uh, uh, drip. If there is a there is no need to drip arrangement. We will pour uh, water by mug also. Every day, one time, daily morning, pour water with mug also. Okay. In, in my garden, nearly 200 buckets, card buckets, um, are arranged like this. And in my garden, brinjal have eight varieties, and chili, and uh, uh, tomato, bitter gourd, or rich gourd, or so many, so many, as you wish, as you like. In the system, every plant will grow full greenery and uh, it gives plenty of uh, vegetables and uh, leafy vegetables and some fruits also. Some We will arrange uh, some medicinal plants like this uh, um, stevia, insulin plant, uh, some um, mints and uh, tulasis like this. So many, so many plenty of uh, uh, medicinal plants and uh, uh, this is uh, called Amruta Valley. This is the medicinal plant and you say like this. And uh, one name tree is there to so say like very bushy type name tree is there and a lime tree is there. This is a lime tree. This is the lime. These are the lime fruits. And the turmeric plant is there. This is the goa. Goa plant is and plenty of regards, bitter regards, daily, every 
every fourth day i cut in this garden 16 to 18 kg veggies every four days that much uh, fruits will come on this system this drip and drain system uh, is very um, easy to maintenance but uh, this system will little bit cost uh, around the around the uh, 1000 um, square foot area the cost will occur 1.5 lakhs a max uh in this uh, fish tank we put it which uh, is 135 numbers of um, american gift tilapia or any variety the 135 or 125 numbers will grown up throughout the year 85 kil- kilos in this uh, one cubic meter um uh, container the fishes will grow um, up to 2.5 kg um, highest uh, weight yielding we will use this fishes after fourth month onward after fourth month onward the fishes will uh, grow 250 in uh, kilo to, to 250 grams uh, uh uh each one we will use uh, one if you want to use one kilo you take it the uh, fishes four numbers on fourth month onward then the uh, fishes will grow very very um, uh, uh tasty these uh, vegetables are natural you, you people all know that the taste will excellent of the uh, terrace garden natural farming taste okay then i will tell about the fish tank now fish tank arranged on the terrace a uh, 3 feet height uh, uh, stand to see the fish around the you like the steps the gravity the water will come down uh, gravity pool that water will go through the gravity force to the plant and plant also uh, Uh, i planted uh, this uh, uh, um brinjal plants uh, last uh, five months back four months back uh, it, it, these plants are giving three months since three months regularly uh, fruit for my family and near and dear like this plant in the urban area we must compulsory grow the terrace garden for the sake of oxygen for the people of near and dear and the pollution will come down you all people all know about that um, oxygen deficiency and pollution high in some urban areas then just uh, any install this uh, roof of garden with drip and drain system any doubt will occur ask me some questions i will answer you uh, sir audience want to uh, want you to explain once again how the excess water from the pots have been collected and recycled and cl- cleansed through these fish tanks they would like to know the process sir 
and the next one they would like to know whether you have any calendar for the type of species to be planted uh, uh, based upon the seasons yeah this is uh, actually the veggies and fishes uh, uh, are grown by the calendar periodically the calendar is there uh, so many people are telling like the, the calendar rabi and karif season seeds are different and uh, uh, we will uh, uh, know about that uh, uh, seedling uh, timetable and the seedling technology that is uh, uh, so many people are telling in youtube also but uh, the system is important drip and drain system how can we prepare and uh, install in the system is very important everyone can learn thoroughly and uh, uh, is compulsorily to learn about the system and uh, after that you install you yourself only there is uh, no worker come to install this like this uh, drip and drain system it is very expensive those people are not talented drip and drain system compulsory thoroughly uh, uh, trained before install this system this is very easy one time you install it in this system the system will uh, uh, continue two years continuously gives us fruits ah uh, one the water drained water will i am once again tell to you the water will drain out this is the dripper sir you are not audible sir your video is stuck Hello. yes sir. go ahead the uh, cold water goes down and comes out to this pipe like this this is the drainage water this drainage water goes to this ananda pinch pvc pipe surrounded 40 feet length by gravity the gravity force comes down to this area like this and this pipe goes down to the filters on the underneath of the building and we show you the filter and storage tank <coughs> these are the filters. This is bioradio filter. That is cold filter, and another one is activated carbon filter. Under the filter, the storage drum is there. One thousand liter storage drum is there. You see, the drainage water goes through the filter and. and coming that water to this rooftop and Thank you. 
So this is my rooftop garden, different brand system with fish culture. If you have a, if any doubt, will better place call me and ask me some questions. I will yeah, tell uh, you. Sir, about... the next question is on. Uh, they would like to know the filter that has been used for this system, sir. Yeah. This system is a two-inch screen filter. Screen filter. This is for uh, drip pipe only. The another uh, filter is one filter is foam filter. It excretes the fish. Uh, filters the excrete of the fish. One foam filter, and uh, second one is. Activated carbon filter. This uh, that filter absorbs the all smells and uh, some uh, odors, the odors are observing that filter. After then, the water will go biomedia filter. It uh, the biomedia uh, works by bacterial process. The ammonia and nitrite and nitrate uh, levels are. The denitrification are uh, occurring in that uh, biomedia filter. Then water will go to the storage tank. Then that water will come uh, uh, recycling to the fish tank. This is the uh, uh, system for the fish tank filter. Sir, the next okay. question is like, what is the cost uh, for uh, cost that that has to be incurred for recycling this water? I told uh, already, recycle this whole system. I am telling to you, the whole system of this uh, one thousand square feet terrace area, drip and drain with fish culture, um, installation cost more than one and a half lakh will. Uh, and the expenses will occur one and a half lakh. Uh, so that, what is the uh, maintenance this, cost, sir? Installation is one and a half lakh, and what about the maintenance cost, sir? The maintenance cost uh, every month uh, some 80 to 100 rupees will occur to the current charges, and uh, the evaporation ratio of the water is. Which are 750 liters. Mm, it is enough, bus. The um, plants, which plant is uh, after the uh, yielding of uh, the plant will die, then you, they exchange another plant, new plant. This is the maintenance of the rooftop garden. There is no need to operate the water system on this system and because the timers are there timely they give, give thoroughly timely pro properly they giving proper water for the plant sir apart from power consumption and other maintenance requirement uh, the uh, audience would like to know uh, what are the other housekeeping or maintenance practices to be done every day or every month uh, so that we can upkeep or keep up this place uh, completely hygienic and neat Yes, every day we are uh, two, three times come to the terrace and see the garden. This is uh, one is uh, psychologically very um, uh, beneficial. Another one is some debris are coming that uh, morning or evening clean out every day or day after day. That is enough. Uh, sir, another thing, what is the temperature difference having these rooftop gardens? Like if you can say the temperature uh, compa in comparison with outside and inside temperatures, 
what what yeah, is the temperature there difference is, there is the, yeah there is the 3 to 4.5 degrees uh, lower temperature than the outside temperature okay okay sir and what about the fertilizer sir are there any other fertilizers there, required there in maintaining a, these plants yeah there is no need to pour the fertilizer the fish water is the fertilizer the fish water continuously gives to the plant uh, all nutrition okay sir what about any other pesticides do we need to yeah. apply because having so many plants in one space uh, yes, so yes. do we need to add any more pesticides uh, to these plants definitely some fruit fly trappers will there in the market we arrange it to fit it uh, some fruit fly trapper the male flies are come and uh, trapped by the system the females are Uh, giving pollination for the uh, entire garden there is mere kaafi kaafi lag raha hai adho sa mere ko alag alag chhod bhar ho gaya hum kaafi naam nahi hai to aam ka i would request all, i request all the rd audience to kindly mute mute kindly mute please pani pani drainage kar yeah sir you can go ahead okay tell me Uh, sir, uh, the, uh, what is the sir? Uh, the roof surface is looking green. Have you painted it green, or is it like a uh, measure that has been taken in maintaining this terrace garden? The my building is forty-five years old. Okay. So I um, painted. So first of all, I painted my room, uh, uh, on the roof uh, to look beautiful and safe for the um, building. the this water one drop of water cannot um, uh, um, uh, come on to the terrace if there is a rain, whenever the rain comes the water will um, appear in the terrace after the rain it will go and and looks like very neatly okay Uh, sir Hello. another question is like can we use integrated pest management method in maintaining this terrace garden <laughs> madam pest management uh, plants uh, plantation these are all uh, um, um, uh, no, know about that systems many people are know about this system so many youtubes are coming on like that but uh, the uh, in this system um, we arrange it the plastic buckets and the drip and drain uh, uh, with the fish culture is continuously that water manure water goes to the plants the plants will healthy and it will give so many more food more more uh, time also it will give more time and uh, many many uh, varieties we can grow in this system very healthily hello Hello. Yes, sir. We are able to hear you. Please continue. Um, okay. Now uh, you can, if you can arrange like the this uh, uh, in the drought area, water management is very low. This is the uh, guard gift for the drought area, and uh, another one is uh, roof in this system. the roof will save there is no damage for the roof uh, and uh, every day you need not go to the fridge door or market directly come onto the terrace over the vegetables and freshly uh, and then uh, cook it and eat it very very healthy and a psychological approach develops uh greenery level and uh, oxygen level and um, another one is pollution levels all are very very uh, uh, low in this system sir how frequently near... do we need to change this potting mixture or the soil mixture which has been put up sir what is the there frequency? is no need, there is no need to change potting mixture on this system okay the potting mixture will go on some Some days like this down. Are you see? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We are able to see that. Yes. 
No, I have not signed it. Okay. Pour it. Another, the, like the uh, party units, uh, pour it, uh, fill up it. Every fortnight or 20 days, fill up it like this. So we need to ensure that the, uh, pour, that the tub is filled up completely. Yes. yes. Okay. okay. Uh, another one, um, uh, minus point is there, madam. This uh, potting mix will, is very loose uh, potting mix. Compulsory, we have to take it. Plants, compulsory, take it like uh, some stick food or plastic type, like this. Okay, okay. We need to stack them. That is what yes. do you say? Stack. Yes. Okay. 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 Okay, uh, madam. Yes, sir. I think uh, we are through with most of the questions, yeah. uh, whatever audience yes. has asked. One, one, uh, five minutes. Yeah, please, please. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Satya, one more question. For one family, how many plants we, we need to put? This is about a thousand square, square feet. Thousand square feet area, enough for the four people and what? seven people also. I am, I told uh, every four days or five days, I am um, uh, um, yielding of this uh, garden is 15 to 18 kgs. <laughs> so sir, you can continue saying are... in Telugu, sir, uh, for most, uh, ah. for the benefit of most yes. of the audience. So the methods yes, exactly yes. you follow. Yeah. This is a note of the Hadugula area of the garden pattern. It is ten years back, Petano. It is Pirugu bucket la toti, Pata bucket la toti, and Apu Sajet and Jarigandi. It is drip and drain system, Edita Undo. A drip and drain system, there are Manak benefit in Dente, Manapadananga, Mana roof, Mana building key, Motamother safety and a building in row. CPS problem on his Rado. Friend of the Manaki Taku and eight thirty, Ati Taku and eight thirty. Neat yet the don't know all under what a system bit to recycle system Doraga, Manaka Kai Gurlu, Akurlu, Alaga, Punerakala Pandlu, medicinal plants to put a man of Pandis Puna in the three sixty five days in the summer crab made to say the Mena Lilpin, the Mena Loplam, Kala Koragal of Sima, April, May, Mena Lam, June Lokota, Paris and Koragal, and winter season of Sangani, winter plants petalsna, Amana, rainy plants petalsna. I was going to go to the house. I was going to the 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 Chamagada, Allegata, and the regal pet coach. Allegate, make in the two pitcher twenty half drum low, Palachetl pet coach. Monaga, Apple Bear, Danima, Support Alanti, Palachetlu, it like a half drum of it. Allegate, make a vertical garden to be can in the law. In the law, eight or so on day, Poka Varsolo, in the pocket Sunday. Eight or so, eight regal are for a low. Yankaman Petrona Tate, apartment was a low two by two feet area lamano, two pandit coach. And apartment look and some moon all gently and the bottom. Then the Panda Bay, Nilo Market put a member from Petrona Jerry, after the Miss Nilo Petrona Jerry. This is all of our segments. Tarawata Miku, in the Egyptian bucket of IRJ photo, a bucket low part of water, different brands of Sundarago, which is an excess water area window. Water really mood rakala filter launch filter out in the home filter. Fishing in Chucha Verdana the filter just on the Rondo the activated carbon filter. Andro in Chucha went to Durgan Dalne on a rakala smells near the other years for the mood of the biomedial like the lactobacillus and a bacterial process. Dora ammon de ammonification the root on the denitrification the root number. Are they water in the Mandla fish tank low pump is now? Fish tank low pump is the one that is a fish. You put a good one, it could appear in a fish. A put a good one, Ganga and Adilo, Pirina Pisto Saman. And the country, fish up to Igrona twenty, 
అనేక రకాల మెడిసినల్ ప్లాంట్స్ ఏర్ల నుంచి వెళ్ళేటటువంటి వాటర్ ఫిష్ ట్యాంక్ లోకి వెళ్తుంది కాబట్టి ఫిష్ ఎప్పుడు కూడా గంగా అనేది వాటర్ తో సమానం అని చెప్పేసి అంటున్నాను అలాగే ఫిష్ నుంచి వెళ్ళే వ్యర్థాలు ఏవైతే ఉన్నాయో అవన్నీ మొక్కలకు వెళ్తాయి కాబట్టి మొక్కకు కావాల్సిన పోషక పదార్థాలు అన్ని చక్కగా అందుతాయి కాబట్టి అవి ఎప్పుడు కూడా ఎటువంటి న్యూట్రిషన్ డెఫిషియన్సీ లేకుండా ఉంటాయి రెండోది ఏంటంటే టెస్ట్స్ రావా అంటే ఓపెన్ ఏరియాలో పెడతాం కాబట్టి టెస్ట్ రావాలి టెస్ట్ వస్తేనే పాలినేషన్ జరుగుతుంది దానికి ట్రాపర్స్ పెట్టుకోవాలి వారానికి ఒకసారి ఎప్పుడైనా మనం వేప నూనె కానీ ఫంగస్ లాంటివి ఏమైనా ఏర్పడ్డప్పుడు మనం ఇంట్లో వాడే వంట సోడా కానీ అలాగే పుల్లటి మజ్జిగని కానీ అలాగే బియ్యం గడ్డిగని నీళ్ళు ఫెరమెంటేషన్ చేసిన కానీ ఇలాంటి సింపుల్ వాటితోటి ఈ టెస్ట్ ప్రాబ్లం అనే ప్రాబ్లం నుంచి మనం ఈజీగా బయటపడి ఎందుకంటే టెర్రస్ అనేది చాలా చిన్నది కాబట్టి టెస్ట్ రోజు రెండు మూడు సార్లు చూస్తాం కాబట్టి ఏదో ఒకటో రెండో టెస్ట్ మనకు కనపడగానే మనం చేతితో కూడా తీసేసుకునే అవకాశం ఉంటుంది దీనికి టెస్ట్ కోసం అని మనం ఎటువంటి రసాయనాలు వాడాల్సిన అవసరం అయితే లేదు రసాయనాలు నా దృష్టిలో ఏంటంటే ఎవరి కంటి ముందు వారి ఇంటి పైన వారి కంటి ముందు పండే ఆహారమే ఆర్గానిక్ అని నా అభిప్రాయం అది చక్కటి ఆరోగ్యాన్ని ఇస్తుంది చక్కటి ఆనందాన్ని ఇస్తుంది చుట్టుపక్కల వారికి ఆక్సిజన్ ఇస్తుంది మన మహానగరాలకి పొల్యూషన్ కంట్రోల్ని ఇస్తుంది రాబోయే రోజుల్లో వీపున మనం ఆక్సిజన్ సిలిండర్లు పెట్టకుండా పెట్టుకుని మోసుకోవాల్సిన అవసరం లేకుండా ఉండాలంటే హైదరాబాద్ లో ఉన్న బిల్డింగ్స్ చాలా మటుకి గ్రీనరీని డెవలప్ చేయాల్సిన అవసరం అయితే ఉంది ఇది ఖచ్చితంగా మనం చేయాల్సిందే మన ఆరోగ్యాల కోసం దానికి ఈ టెర్రస్ గార్డెన్ లో ఇలాంటి తక్కువ నీటి తోటి కొంచెం ఖర్చు అయినా పర్వాలేదు ఒకసారి మనం ఇన్స్టాల్ చేసుకుంటే పన్నెండు సంవత్సరాలు గ్యారంటీగా ఉంటుంది ఇందులో ఏంటంటే వర్కర్ ఇన్వాల్వ్మెంట్ కంటే ఎవరైతే ఆ బిల్డింగ్ యజమానులు ఉంటారో ఎవరైతే ఆహారం తింటారో వాళ్ళంతటా వాళ్లే చేసుకోవాలి నేర్చుకొని వాళ్ళంతటా వాళ్లే ఎట్లా ఇన్స్టాల్ చేయాలి ఈ కూరగాయలు అవి ఎట్లా పండించుకోవాలనే విధానాన్ని ఒక్కొక్కటి ఒక్కొక్కటి ఆ నాలెడ్జ్ అంతా వచ్చేస్తుంది ఒక మొక్కను మనం ఒక మొక్కతో ప్రారంభిస్తే ఆ ఒక్క మొక్కే అనేక మొక్కలు పెంచడానికి నాలెడ్జ్ అంతా కూడా ఇస్తుంది ఆ విధంగానే ప్రతి ఒక్కళ్ళు కూడా చాలా మంది ముందుకు రావటం గత ఈ పదేళ్ల నుంచి ఈ టెర్రస్ గార్డెన్ సక్సెస్ఫుల్ గా రన్ అవుట్ ఆ కారణం ఏంటంటే ఇందులో డ్రిప్ అండ్ డ్రైన్ సిస్టమ్ బిల్డింగ్ పైన మనం ఎర్రమట్టి వేయట్లేదు ఎర్రమట్టి ఎందుకు వేయట్లేదు అంటే ఎర్రమట్టి చాలా బరువుగా ఉంటుంది ఒకటి ఎర్రమట్టిలో ఫంగల్ డిసీజ్ వస్తాయి ఎర్రమట్టిలో డ్రైనేజ్ ప్రాబ్లం వస్తుంది కాబట్టి ఈ సిస్టానికి ఎర్రమట్టి ఈ మొక్కలకి వేయాల్సిన అవసరం అయితే కనపడలేదు అయితే కొంచెం స్టేకింగ్ ప్రాబ్లం వస్తుంది ఇందులో అంటే మొక్కలు ఇందులో ఈ మట్టిలో లూజ్ సాయిల్ కాబట్టి నిలబడాలంటే దానికి కర్ర కానీ ఏదైనా సపోర్ట్ పెట్టి కట్టేనే కానీ స్టేకింగ్ అనేది కొంచెం ఈ అదొక్కటే ఇందులో ఉండే ఇబ్బంది పళ్ళ మొక్కలు ఇది కొంచెం మట్టి వేసుకున్నా పర్వాలేదు పళ్ళ మొక్కలకు మట్టి స్టేకింగ్ కోసం మాత్రమే ఇది ఇంత చిన్న గార్డెన్ లో మనం అనేక రకాల కూరగాయలు ఆ కూరలు ఇవన్నీ చూస్తున్నారు కదా అనేక రకాల వంగలు రకరకాల వంగలు ఇవన్నీ ఆ మిర్చి టమాటాలు ఒక మూడు రకాలు మిర్చి ఒక రెండు రకాలు పెండ కాకర సొర బీర నేను బీర అయితే ఆ బీర కాకర అయితే నాలుగైదు రోజులకు ఒకసారి తట్టలతో వేయవలసి వస్తుంది మనకు కనపడదు చాలా 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 అంటే ఈ సాయిల్ ఇందులో ఫిష్ వాటర్ లో ఉన్నటువంటి మంచి ఇది సొర కూడా బాగా వస్తుంది సొరకాయ కూడా బాగా వస్తాయి ఇందులో ఓకే మీకు కనపడుతుందా హలో ఎస్ ఎస్ కనబడుతుందండి మీరు చూడండి పైన టెర్రస్ పైన మా షేడ్ నెట్ పైన కూడా ఒకటి రెండు అడుగుల పైన బీరకాయలు కూడా ఉన్నాయి కాకరకాయలు కూడా చాలా ఇంకోటి ఏంటంటే ఈ టెర్రస్ గార్డెన్ పైన ఎప్పుడు పారాపిట్ వాళ్ళ ఉంటాయి తీగలు పాకించుకోవాలి కదా ఎండాకాలం మనం షేడ్ నెట్ కంపల్సరీగా వేసుకోవాలి షేడ్ నెట్ అనేది మూడు నెలలు ఉంచుకోవాలి ఈ మూడు నెలలు అయిపోయిన తర్వాత ఈ జూన్ నెలలో షేడ్ నెట్ తీసేయాలి ఎందుకంటే మొక్కలకి కంపల్సరీగా ఎనిమిది గంటలు ఎండపడాలి ఎంత ఎండపడితే మనకు అంత ఎక్కువగా కాయలు ఇస్తాయి 
మనకి అంతేకాకుండా పర్యావరణం కూడా ఇక్కడే ఉంటుంది చూడండి ఇక్కడ చూడండి చిన్న చిన్న పిచ్చుకలు గుడ్లు కూడా పెట్టినాయి ఇందులో ఆకుల్లో వంగ ఆకుల్లో మీకు ఒక వంగ ఆశ ఎంత ఉందో చూడండి ఎంత పెద్దగా వస్తున్నాయి చూడండి అలాగే మీకు ఒక పాలకూర కానీ చుట్టకూర కానీ ఇలాంటి ఆకులు చేమాకుల్లో వస్తాయి ఆ టవర్లు టవర్ గార్డెన్ లో అంత పెద్ద పెద్ద ఆకులు వస్తాయి ఒక పది ఆకులు ఒక ఇద్దరు ఉన్న కుటుంబానికి సరిపోయేంత వస్తే ఇందులో ఇది ఇలా కాకుండా మనం ఈ బ్రిక్ అండ్ డ్రైన్ ఈ ఫిష్ సిస్టమ్ కనుక పెట్టనట్టయితే ఈ ప్రోటీన్ మిక్స్ కొద్ది కాలానికి అందులో ఉండే సారం అంత దిగిపోతుంది మనం ఎడిషనల్ గా మనం మెన్యూర్ ఇచ్చుకోవాల్సిన పరిస్థితి వస్తుంది ఎప్పుడు కూడా ఎవ్రీ ప్రతి వారం కానీ ప్రతి పది రోజులకి కానీ మెన్యూర్ బలం మెన్యూర్ అంటే ఏంటంటే జీవామృతం లాంటివి ఇలాంటి కషాయాలు రకరకాలు అన్ని అన్ని కూడా ప్రతి పది రోజులకి మనం ఇచ్చుకోవాల్సిన అవసరం ఉంటుంది ఇలా గ్రీనరీగా ఉండాలంటే అవి కనుక ఇవ్వకపోతే ఏమవుతుందంటే ఆ మట్టిలో ఉండే సారం పోయిన తర్వాత మొక్కలకి జీవం ఉండదు సరైన కాయలు కాయవు ఈ ఫిష్ వాటర్ వల్ల కంటిన్యూస్ గా మనకి ఈ వంగ మొక్క వచ్చేసి ఏడు అడుగుల వరకు పెరుగుతుంది అదే బెండ మొక్క వచ్చి పది అడుగులు పెరుగుతుంది ఇది ఇక్కడ చూడండి ఈ ఈ వంగ మొక్కలు ఇది అమరాంత ఏమంటాము తోటకూర ఈ తోటకూర కూడా మీకు పది అడుగులు వెళ్తుంది అలాగే తోటకూరలో ఎర్ర తోటకూర ఇది చూడండి ఇది ఇలా చూడండి ఇప్పటికి ఏడు దాటి మీద పది అడుగులు వస్తుంది ఇది ఇది వంగ మొక్క చూడండి ఇది ఎంత చేసుకోవచ్చు అలాగే ఉంటుంది ఇప్పుడు జనరల్ గా మనకు మూడు నాలుగు నెలలు కాపు కాసే ఈ వంగడాలు త్రీ ఫోర్ మంత్స్ కాస్తాయి మనకి ఏంటంటే ఈ టమాటా కానీ ఆ చిక్కుడు కానీ బెండ కానీ ఇవన్నీ ఇవి ఇంకా ఎక్కువ కాలం ఈ సిస్టంలో కాగితానికి అవకాశం ఉంది చక్కగా న్యూట్రిషన్ వాటర్ వెళ్తుంది కదా sir audience are requesting you to speak in english <laughs> i think there are there are people from other parts of uh, the country uh, so okay, they are okay. requesting you to speak in english please. okay okay madam okay uh, in this system the, the nutrition water goes to the drip to the plants the plants will grow healthily the, the fruits will come in you know, more than the period of that plant every from the um, cutting every cutting um, yield of this garden uh, every four days i will cut the fruits um, nearly 15 to 18 cages uh, total all varieties are um, uh, uh, harvesting the more than 15 cages it is not it is more than um uh, enough for our, my um, uh, four five apartments also so the next question is on uh, how, what are the how do you manage any de- natural disasters like uh, either heavy winds or any floods how do you manage this terrace garden during those periods so madam <laughs> heavy uh, flood or heavy uh, storms Uh, will damage the plants you remove it and uh, um, uh, plant it new one that's all sir how do you avoid mosquito breeding uh, on terrace gardening yeah mosquito repellents are there citronella and lemon grass trees are there you put it on four sides okay 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 sir. ask me another question yeah i'm just so what uh, what in these uh, tower uh, uh, tower pits or whatever you are calling those tower drums uh, yeah. so they you said that it's a natural vermi composting pit so do you do, yeah. would you add vermi uh, lot worms also into this or it's only normally compost pit yeah we are adding the vermi compost huh? no sir in this tower drums whatever you have shown you yeah, said the central pipes actually, have been put up to generate natural yeah, yeah. compost the worms develop on the vermi compost okay the, those vermi compost eggs are developed and hatched on the uh, tower garden and grow the worms plenty of plants and that worms grow to the under uh, go into the pipe and 
that uh, debris those who are uh, we are testing that debris will um, eat and the convert into vermicompost so there is another question on how do you avoid uh, spreading of fungus between plants as they have been spaced very close to each other in organic uh, like this uh, terrace garden uh, uh, eating soda in is in our kitchen baking soda yeah baking soda yeah one liter for five grams so uh, dissolve it and spray it. that's all how, how frequently we need to uh, spread the, uh, the like apply this uh, liquid according yeah. according to the fungus situation okay 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 and uh, uh, you spray the uh, neem oil every 10 days or fortnight for fortnight for the control of some pests and ants okay 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 sir so what are the common diseases or the what are the common fungus attacks we can see on a ter on terrace gardening sir are there any things which are like very common which we can see so that if any starter has initiated this activity who should not be get scared of uh, seeing this fungus so what which are the fungus which are very frequently seen in terrace gardening or how they can overcome this in bitter gourd creepers and uh, ridge gourd and bitter gourd and our uh, gourds are there the plants will occur with fungus diseases most of the terrace gardens and uh, and when one more uh... so your voice is not audible ravi sir your voice is not audible Uh, to see the like fungus yes, nutrition yes, deficiency sir. in this system because the creepers are ever green yes sir the fruit uh, the, the leaf uh, minor uh, uh, pests are root borrowing pests are like this pests uh, and some uh, uh, viral and fungal diseases uh, rarely come on this uh, on the roof of garden and uh, mites come where the red mites black mites some mites come in uh, ladies finger tree like that uh, tomato uh, uh, we care about that uh, if any um, fungus this is attacked any plant first of all you remove it simply and the plant is another one you would say yes. handpick yeah okay yeah uh, that is the best method viral and uh, fungal this is um, um, most of the in my experience uh, diseases will come on the terrace garden frequently bigger um, uh, this this uh, on this system the plants uh, will grow continuously healthy the resistance power will higher uh, um then the nam uh, field ones because the this uh, come lo very lowly on this plants uh, now okay so the next question is on how to control ants is there any organic method of controlling ants uh, in gardens yeah the ants um, we pour the ginger uh, water and turmeric water mix with the turmeric and uh, put a 5 10 grams ginger 10 grams turmeric mix 1 liter of water and pour on the root area okay. the ants will go sir could you please switch on your video sir yeah switch so i hope uh, uh, mr ravi dr ravi chandra has answered all the questions which ever has been posted by the audience and we have also posted his details uh, we have also posted his details in the chat box his email id and mobile number whoever would like to take up uh, terrace gardening at your respective residences or any any, any of your projects you may directly get in touch with him uh, and he would uh, help you in est in uh, establishing these terrace gardens on your rooftops or uh, in your farms or in any other places Uh, may I now request our chairman, Mr. C. Shekhar Reddy, Ch IGBC Hyderabad chapter, uh, to kindly deliver the concluding remarks, please. Yeah, th thank you, Satyarana. 
థ్యాంక్ యూ అనిల్ కుమార్ ఏపురు గారు బికాస్ ఆఫ్ ద కోవిడ్ ది సిటిజన్స్ ఆర్ వెరీ కాన్షియస్ ఫర్ ది హెల్త్ అండ్ దే వుడ్ లైక్ టు హ్యావ్ ఏ హైజెనిక్ ఫుడ్ అండ్ అండ్ పీపుల్ ఆర్ టర్నింగ్ టువర్డ్ ది ఆర్గానిక్ ది వెజిటబుల్స్ అండ్ this is the right time and uh, i think uh, anil garu you have organized this and i think it definitely the all the participant will benefit out of this uh, presentation and uh, i think also they will pass on to many other people uh, dr ravichandra kumar garu thank you very much uh, for a very very practical and detailed presentation and uh, do it yourself you are suggesting do it yourself so that you can enjoy while uh, while doing this entire thing also you will enjoy once one the, the owners should enjoy while doing it not only by by uh, by harvesting and uh, taking the good food uh, one should also do the cultivation on the rooftop and uh, i think by this you are by you are reducing 3 to 4 5 degrees uh, cent, uh, degrees uh, in, in, the, in, the, in 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 indoor uh, uh, temperature i think the air conditioning cost will also uh, will come down drastically during the summer period and that 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 benefit is also there you are not highlighted that is where we we igbc come into picture uh, we we always uh, advocate all the all the the rated uh, buildings to go for uh, uh, no cool cool roof or some other medium like this uh, definitely i think uh, all the uh, participant uh, benefited with your detailed presentation in english as well as telugu and we also clear lot of doubts uh, general doubts Uh, many people who have all the these doubts and another thing is one request is kindly uh, give it to the calendar of uh, seed sowing so that uh, aruna satya aruna will circulate to all the participant in which season which are the you know uh, seeds we can sow so that uh, the the urban urbanites will benefit from your experience i think uh, time and again we will definitely do this and uh, i don't know whether um, uh, dr ravichandra kumar yaar we can do without that fish uh, tank also can we do the same thing uh, uh, or will we lose the benefits uh, of the that uh, because that yes is- sir we will lose the benefits of nutritional benefits we will lose sir yeah, uh, every fortnight we fun. add the nutritional uh, to the plant uh, by uh, pouring jeeva uh, amrutam like this but i i feel i, I don't know it may, maybe it, it, is it little bit complicated the fish part of it because we need to take care of <laughs> no 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 sir in last 10 years there is no complaint and no complication on my terrace the okay. owner participation is main sir okay. in this system correct, correct. we we leave it, we leave it to the workers they won't care properly i agree i agree now one has to do it very passionately one has to do very passionately uh, then the really what you said is you know they will also enjoy the fruits even the fresh oxygen also and the yes. green everything i think whenever the, they, their mood is not good they can come to the terrace and uh, yeah <laughs> psychological <laughs> approach is there sir a uh, no, no. lot yeah. of things no. uh, we have no. learned and uh, that is, of- you said this because of this medium the diseases also will be reduced that is yeah. also Uh, yes, anyway, all practical issues we have addressed, and the only thing is that we, we were before the session also before the beginning of session. I we have we were discussing myself and Anil Kumar, we were we were discussing. Yeah, little bit mm-hmm. you know uh, guidance uh, assistance uh, uh, we require. I will I will give training on. Um, uh, please you arrange the meeting. I will live training. I will give you. yeah what, what our request is maybe you can uh, you can create with your help uh, igpc can or uh, the, the article social society can agree article society can create some youngsters will give some training so that they can go and install this type of systems on the rooftop and they yeah, can definitely do. some yeah. unemployment problem will solve this yeah. like this uh, uh, program sir i yeah. will definitely and uh, encourage that uh, training session i will come and uh, train each and every unemployed youth yeah. please arrange the session on uh, agri arti society i will come and uh, uh, train them properly thank you they will uh, they will uh, one of the unemployed youth uh, one of the income sources there sir 
yes a lot of people are asking every day so hundreds of people asking please come and uh, install rooftop garden on my roof we Correct. will give whatever it uh, amount will give yes so many calls are coming every day sir but i am unable to do sir also. this can be made a package the youth entrepreneurs can give a package so many yeah. the buckets and the, the, so much of the drip and everything drain line this is a costing so that yeah. it's easy to you know for the people to install otherwise they are busy ah. at their own ah sir yeah and in fact we, we are jealous of your garden sir your roof garden <laughs> uh, all yeah. plants are looking very healthy very very healthy uh, uh, um, thank well. you so much for your presentation and thank you all the participants for your patience and uh, and uh, here and uh, participating in the in the, this um, um, virtual show and thanks to our uh, you know okay. igbc faculty satya aruna and chaitanya and other other uh, other uh, colleagues here and especially our uh, anil kumar epur garu thank you very much thanks to everybody from igbc and ci thank you thank you so okay. much sir it's indeed our pleasure that you have joined us uh, and made this program a grand success thank you so much now may i request mr anil kumar epur garu to kindly give away the closing remarks please uh, I, i i must say i was extremely satisfied and uh, very happy with this session because it was real practical session and all common questions were answered so i think a lot of the delegates must have learned the basics of how to put a roof garden and i must compliment radikumar chandra garu for this excellent one thanks to you uh, and as you see you seem to be willing to give advice and help others we will give your phone number and your uh, maybe your email address to all those who want it so they can contact you directly and as you also a member of the agriculture society yeah yeah mom the pandemic allows it we will probably have to start our uh, physical training programs and we will certainly be one of our first uh, champions to come and uh, do the my uh, definitely also, yeah my compliments to satya and uh, the team for doing an excellent job in this difficult times and i must compliment them for doing start these and having three programs already and more planned on the way so i guess when there's a will there's always a way and there's nothing can stop things from happening thanks to you satya thanks chaitanya and my of course my my good friend shekhar thank you very much for taking the time to be with us i know you are also passionate about gardening and i know your background your dad's background so it's 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 in your genes so we look forward to working and see how we can move this green uh, green green india green hyderabad forward thank you very much thank you sir uh, it's all your guidance and uh, <laughs> commitment we are able to conduct all these sessions uh, once again we thank all the participants for joining this session uh, on this friday and uh, the next session would be on either the third week or second week of uh, second week of july and it would be on bonsai gardening uh, so we would request all the participants to kindly joining for the next session too and uh, have a wonderful weekend thank you so much sir namaskar